Alright guys, so we were playing Kill House Search and Destroy, and I just want to talk about some things to get off my chest. It's not even things directly to you, it's just problems that I just want to say, just get off my chest. Don't even know if I'm going to post this, that's how, uh, I just need to vent, honestly. So, first of all, like you all know, I am going to start changing the thumbnails, I just wanted to say that so you guys don't think I'm going to be clickbaiting and all that stuff. I wasn't really clickbaiting in the first place, but it was just like, whatever. Alright. So here's my first problem. First problem is when, okay, I, I'm starting to drive and all that stuff. I got my permit and everything. And um, basically, my problem is with driving. I get all strained up. I start getting really nervous and all that stuff. And we do it every Sunday. So I feel like it's such a big gap for me. I feel like I have to relearn everything. So I'm literally like cramping because I am so strained and just like all, I don't, did you guys ever get that? Because I, I feel that way for some reason. I get all strained up and stuff and it's just not healthy. So that's one thing. And another thing is that my wrist is sprained pretty badly. And so I can't, the only way I'm going to be able to heal it is through rest. And I don't have rest or I, like I have rest, but I just don't have enough of it because, you know, sometimes it takes months, sometimes years to, to heal s something like that. So I don't have that. So I'm basically going to be taping my wrist forever until I'm done with sports or something like that. So that's one thing that just is is not very good for me right now and you know my wrist and my hands they they get sprained they they get hurt and everything so this area for my wrist up on each hand is just not very good not very stable and whatever uh my ankles are great the rest of my body is pretty much great except for maybe like uh, my lower my lower back sometimes that gets a little strained but besides that it's my hands that really kill me other problem is that i have a tooth problem uh i'm pretty sure i have two cavities i don't know how i brush my teeth every single day but um I, maybe I just eat too many uh, fruits because I, I eat lots and lots of fruit and you know that has a lot of sugars in it so um, maybe that's it I have no idea but so I'm gonna go check those out in like a month so it's gonna be hurting for a while anything I chew on I gotta be super careful some some days it's like I don't feel anything other days it's like if I lick it it hurts so yeah that's another problem and this all ties in with the car thing because the teeth and the wrist are all distractions and they're all little um things that can make me not not as good as a driver and that's why i'm strained and all like and all that stuff one other thing i would like to say here are some things that i think i might have first thing i'm pretty sure i have add honestly because i can't listen very well i can't concentrate on multiple things very well at the same time i'm always distracted by something i'm always thinking about one specific thing i'm never thinking about multiple things I, this, i'm not a multitasker whatsoever like i can chew gum listen to music and and do you know do homework but i can't freaking uh i can't drive a car and like talk to somebody on the radio or i don't know you get do you get what i'm saying i can't i can't multitask very well pretty sure i have add or something of that sort uh but i i don't know how to um do that because my parents aren't going to take me to the doctors because i think i have add that would just be you know i kind of sound like a hypochondriac right now honestly but yeah and another thing i did some research because all during sports i can never get in shape like i'm always tired after after doing like a few sprints and you know I can get in shape it's just really hard to get 100% in shape I'll, I'll never be 100% in shape I'm pretty sure I always get to this point where I I feel like I'm wheezing and all this stuff after I run a certain amount and it's it's not good and I don't know if it's like a heart disease or something but um I'm just hoping that you know it's not anything big and maybe I'm just Maybe I'm just being a little dramatic, and I hope I am because I, I just really don't want to have to deal with all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically everything that I was thinking about throughout all today, and I just wanted to vent and everything. Um, if you guys are scientists, please tell me anything. Uh, it might not help. It might not do anything. It's just, you know, if, if, if you guys can relate, at least, tell me, because I don't want to feel like I'm the only one who has these problems. And it's only it's only like like five or six problems, my main problems, everything. Everything else is just fine. I feel great. I'm happy most of the time. And so if I could get my wrist fixed, my teeth fixed, those are those are physical things. If I could get those fixed, I'll be home free. Now the other stuff is a little harder to deal with. ADD, you usually just take medicine for that, but I don't know if I have it. You know, I have never tested for it. Um, and also my uh, theory that I may have a heart disease, that is a little of an overshot, but that is the only thing I can think of of why I can't get in shape sometimes. 
times. So, uh, yeah. Everything else is fine. And we're playing some Chinatown. And, you know, it's fun. Tell me if you guys do enjoy, um these types of videos where I'm doing Call of Duty, I'm talking to you guys, um, and also Resident Evil, I did finish the series, um, I only have two other episodes left, um, to upload and edit and all that stuff, once I finish that, I'm gonna be doing some DLC stuff on there, so go ahead and, you know, whenever it comes out, view the DLC stuff, because I'm pretty sure that'll be a little bit more entertaining, um, than the actual series, if you guys like small, short, entertaining videos, I think the DLC ones will be a lot better for you if if you're not into gameplays and stuff. If you're like into these videos, I would strongly suggest you um, look at those videos and, you know, see if you like them. All right, Chinatown. I've gotten to play every single one. Kill House, Chinatown, uh, Creek, and, you know, uh, what? Creek and Broadcast. And holy crap, I didn't think they are gonna have a freaking machine gun. I, I, I knew that was there. I knew that was there. I just didn't think they'd be on it. Who? Oh, that's, just, that's ridiculous. Who actually gets on that? I didn't know people actually got on that. Like, at the, when everyone's dead, you don't just stay on there. You don't camp, do you? That's so weird to me. What the heck? I didn't. There was no one there. Where is he? He's hard scoping, so I can't even tell where he is. Guys, that's this game sometimes, you know. Honestly, guys, sometimes I just feel like I have nothing to say. And after I invented right there, I have nothing else to talk about. So hopefully there's something entertaining in this game that uh, I can talk about because uh, I'm i lost for words after that. I just kind of just wanted to vent. Um, you know, so just tell me if you guys do relate because that makes me feel a lot better if I know that other people are going through it too and it's not just me. And I don't, you know, it makes me feel like I'm not, like, being a baby. And, you know, other people actually do have those types of problems. All right, guys, I'm just going to end it here. I'm done, I'm done venting. Uh, this might be a shorter video than usual. Uh, my videos have been getting shorter and shorter and whatever. But, um, I don't really have much else to say. So, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, hit the like button down below. And, uh, I'll come back with some, uh, I'll finish the Resident Evil series. Then we'll do some DLC stuff with that. And then we'll just be back to Call of Duty Whoa. unless I get a new game. And if this guy will shut up! Gosh! Ugh. All right, anyways, I'll see you later. Peace.